Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for his question on the GIS information systems and the technologies and how it was used to assist in the COVID-19 pandemic and also in dealing in managing TC Harrow. Geospatial is basically talking about um, any data that is associated with a particular location. And it involves digitizing that information, information on topography or natural landscape and any man-made environment um, for a particular location and capturing it in a digitized format so that you're able to portray it visually on a TV screen. There's always a lot of data that is hidden away in files, but through this GIS, it gives us an opportunity to look at things from different lens and to overlay different kinds of information on a map of an area or using Google Maps and so forth. So it becomes a very visual tool that is an important, um, important way in which we can use to, to understand the problems that face us. In this particular issue, we're talking about uh, the problems that affected Fiji in terms of COVID-19 pandemic and also in terms of uh, TC Harrow. So it's an important tool for evidence-based solutions, to come up with evidence-based solutions to social, economic, and environmental challenges. And there are a lot of benefits that come out of using of GIS systems to improve the lives. And it, uh, the, the, uh, the use of this extends across government, business, and also our um, fellow Fijians. Our, my ministry and in, across in government, we encourage the use of geospatial information as it provides a lot of support and ease of understanding for those that are involved in decision making, dealing with things like pandemics and also with cyclones. So my ministry, the Ministry of Lands and Mineral Resources, through its uh, Geospatial Information Unit, provides a national platform to integrate all of our national different data sets so that they can be portrayed on the platform that we have. And that in turn becomes a tool that where any, media, any agency can use to make decisions to serve, to serve um, our fellow Fijians. The Ministry, uh, Ministry of Lands and Mineral Resources, develops, delivers special information that meets the diverse needs of GIS bodies. For example, the emergency response application, which was used during the disaster through the National Disaster Management Office. And uh, for COVID-19 in particular, we already have the Vanua GIS platform. Under the Vanua GIS platform, maps of Fiji are digitized and uh, the ministry is then able to uh, overlay different uh, national data sets onto that map so that one can look at a map at a particular location and understand what is available or what exists in that particular area. So for COVID-19, uh, using Vanua GIS, the ministry developed the Vanua GIS COVID-19 system so that they can overlay uh, information from COVID-19 on the data sets that they already had. And we also developed the COVID-19 dashboard so that the Ministry of Health and all the stakeholders could uh, look at a summary of the key factors that were involved in COVID-19. The Vanua GIS platform, along with the information collected by the health services teams, were integrated to create the, these two platforms. And this is similar to what the World Health Organization um, had uh, done for its own uh, dashboards on COVID-19. And these two platforms had immensely assisted during the lockdown because by looking at the maps, by looking at the projections on the screen, it provided us a bird's eye view on the distribution of the patients, where they were located, the suspected cases. It allowed us to track contract tracing by districts and by provinces and also allowed us to see where the different health facilities, including isolation centers and fever clinics were located. So the use of GIS allowed for accurate reporting for senior officials and allowed them also to have a better and stronger way of planning and uh, for developing resources to where the needs were located. For TC Herald, Mr. Speaker, sir, the use of uh, geospatial information was also of great assistance. During TC Winston and again for TC Herald, and I think during TC Herald, for those of us that were involved in the briefings, we could see the evolution and the upgrading of the use, usefulness of the GIS uh, portals to be able to understand what was happening. The Ministry was able to provide geospatial information through the base maps provided and the field data collected and mapped before and after TC Herald. This geospatial information allowed for preliminary identification of communities affected by TC Herald, including the extent of damage, the number of uh, facilities that will be affected, the amount of population, 
This then immensely assisted government to better plan and mobilize the deployment distribution of relief immediately after TC Herald. This allowed for monitoring of the assistance provided to our fellow Fijians impacted by this event. Mr. Speaker, sir, with the events of COVID-19 and TC Herald, geospatial information and its technologies has proved to be a very useful tool for government. It has en enhanced government's efforts in planning and decision-making to better serve our fellow Fijians during the time of national emergencies. However, to be able to better respond to national emergencies and support economic recovery, the continued collection, integration, and sharing of national ge geospatial information to the central platform maintained by my ministry is of vital importance. The ministry will continuously strive to ensure that the geospatial platform is well maintained. Furthermore, the ministry is supporting agencies to build their own geospatial information capability through awareness and training on the benefits of geospatial information and the Vanua GIS platform. Secondly, on advice on suitable technology and software for the collection and maintenance of geospatial information and through collaboration with stakeholder agencies on digitizing of hard copy data sets and field data collection that have a geospatial component to them. And with this support and the collaboration that is taking place between the stakeholders of geospatial information, that platform maintained by my ministry on behalf of government will continue to serve its purpose as a useful tool for effective and informed planning and decision making. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir.